What's up everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel, F*** the Madness. My name is Craig and we have been running our eBay store from our home in North Carolina for a little over a year now. There's 50,000 sales over the past year. The goal of this channel is to share the knowledge we have gained from our own experiences, all in the hopes of building a better, more profitable eBay store. Hopefully you avoid some of the mistakes we have made and get value from the wins we share. So smash the f out of that like button, consider subscribing, and join me inside to get some answers to your FAQs. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign. A sign. You are either starting or have started reselling on eBay. Whether it's a few items around the house or a consistent amount of items that you find. Congratulations, there are so many good things about reselling on eBay. We have been fortunate enough to have some really good sourcing opportunities that give us plenty of items to list. Even with the rising prices of gas and the cost of goods, we have been able to keep operating costs down. But we're always looking for a bigger and better haul so that we can... Did he say bigger and better hauls? See, that's where the madness comes in. Did he mention the death piles that he has going on out there? He can go out all day, every day, and buy all kinds of stuff. But when is it going to get listed? No telling how much money is in those piles. And he just thought it was a clever title. <laughs> F*** the madness. Now we have had to figure out a few things. As far as creating an internal system to enter and keep track of things. Started out with taking items around the house and putting it up on shelves. Each item had to have a number. Then we outgrew that space and started putting everything in bins. Then Eliza wanted to get some racks that would hang items. First ones we had were all, well, let's just say less than sturdy. But we got some heavy duty racks that hold a ton of clothes. Now. Did he tell you about the racks? Oh, they had a system that worked, that was working just fine. Go out and source all these clothes for dirt cheap but they had to be clean according to eBay standards. And, and poor Eliza, bless her heart. She had her own little system, washing his clothes, her clothes, the business clothes. God forbid if they had to be ironed or, or de-wrinkled. You know, hanging them on those industrial size racks helped a lot. But in the end, they were just sitting there, taking up all kinds of space and not making any money at all. So I had to put my foot down and I said, the madness he can go out three or four days a week and get all kinds of clothes but who's gonna picture them? no telling how much money is on those racks all kidding aside there are a number of hats you have to wear as a reseller it's lonely in many many ways I do miss the day-to-day -day interaction I have with all levels of co-workers as a call center director but I love the different aspects of running my own business sharing it all with my partner in crime answering the questions that come up in my own mind and ones posed by our customers. One of the biggest lessons learned over the year is that just because you can buy something at rock bottom prices doesn't necessarily make it a good buy. More importantly, buying too much inventory over any period of time does not serve your business, especially when all you are doing is creating huge debt piles which are not making you money. If you do nothing for your business, start off on the right foot by creating a way to store your items and be able to find the list of items when they sell. If you create and discover processes that work consistently over a period of time, you will not only be able to improve the time it takes to complete it, but you will also improve the profit you earn. One of the best ways to help you get there is to expose yourself to like-minded people that have been there. I found a group on Facebook as many people are willing to share their experiences and save you the headache of learning the hard way. If you're like me, you want to increase the number of hours you have to spend doing the things that matter most to you and your family. We can buy more stuff, we can sell more stuff, but we only have so much time to enjoy the life we have to live on this earth. The rest is just madness. Don't let it get to you. F*** the madness and let it guide you to the best way. Thank you for making it to the end of my video. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa.
wanna be the greatest. Everybody on the face shit. I look around and feel like everybody is the fakest. I make this every day and I'm impatient. Hoping one day I blow up from the basement. Statement, the top is so vacant. I don't need shit that I think is amazing. Waiting for my day when I'm playing. Sold out shows for a thousand faces. Hey, give me that crown. Getting my way in to be put down. It ain't your place, all this my town. If I want that shit, then I'll get it right now. I'm losing it, the noose if it's some loose shit, a stupid myth. You choose to live or choose to dip, you choose to fight or lose your grip and lose a gift. Oh.